Hello friends. So in this question, we are asked that if we are given a number, then we have to set its particular kth bit and then we have to print the output. So we have to set the kth bit. So let's understand what this question actually says. So we will be given a number, let's say a having value, let's say 26 and k equal to 3. So what we want actually, because this question is actually working on bits of the number. So let's convert this a equal to 26 into bits. So 26 can be written in bits as 11010. We want the output as because here k equal to 3 it is given. That means they are telling us that kth bit. So if we consider this bit as our first bit, this is our second bit, this is our third bit and so on. Now k equal to 3 means we are talking about this bit, this 0. We want this bit to be set. Set means we want to convert this bit into 1 and all the rest bit should be copied as such in the output. That is, this is 1, this is 1. We want this output. This is our output. We have to see okay, like how we can get this from given a and k. Now let's say a is you can say again 26 but k we are given as let's say 2. So a equal to 26 we can write it as again this way and then k equal to 2 means this bit. Now we want this bit to be set because it is already set so we will be keeping it as 1. All the rest bit should be copied as such. This is actually 26. So in case of k equal to 26, k equal to 2, we will be getting the output 26 only. In case of a equal to 26, k equal to third bit, we will be getting the output as this is actually you can say uh, 1, 2, 4, that 26 plus 30. So this is 30. So we will be getting output as 30. So let's see how should we approach these type of questions which are working on the bits of a number. See, we have to find the bit pattern here. The another bit pattern that is find the bit pattern and we are naming that bit pattern as B. That is we have to find some B. Now second is we have to find which bitwise operator or operators to apply. So we have to find the operator that we have to apply on this A and B so that we get our desired output. As you understood that we have to find that what should be placed here and what should be placed here. Now only zeros and 1 can be placed here. The same way we have to find what should be placed here and all the remaining positions so that we get this output. So let's see we are taking the kth bit. So kth bit of A we are talking about this and we are talking about this. So as you know the kth bit in the input that is a it can be 0 or 1 it depends on the value of k so it can be 0 or 1. Now we have to find this so if we talk about b and the kth bit in b we want the output here it should be set and here it should be set. Now in these questions we have to see like which operator we should take from here. Now just for your practice we are taking the first operator as AND. Now say we have answered this question that we are applying bitwise operator. Okay. Now what should be placed here and here so that if we apply this on 0 we get 1. If we apply that on 1 we should get 1. Now see if we put here 1, 1, can we get this 1 using AND operation? So 0 and 1, the AND of 0 and 1 will not be 1, it will be 0. That means this one cannot be applied. So this is ruled out. Now let's see, we have only this operation AND but we are putting here 0. We are putting here 0. Now see, the AND of 0, 0 is 1, no. It is actually 0. So we are not getting our desired output. That means AND operation will not work. This is ruled out. Now let's see whether bitwise or 
will work or not. So here it is A, it is B. Now A, kth bit can be 0 or 1. We want the output as 1, 1. That is we want the kth bit to be set. Now see here, can it be 0 or 1 if we are applying or. See, if we are applying 0 here, then 0, 0 will not give me 1. So that means 0 cannot be applied. Now, if we are placing here 1, 0 and 1, the OR operation will give me 1. Correct. Let's see 1 will giving me the correct output here. The 1, 1 OR will give me 1. Yes. So the OR operation and the kth bit in the B should be 1. It is giving me desired output for the this kth bit. This kth bit. Now, so here it should be 1. It should be 1. Now, what should be placed here and here? So that all the bits should be copied as such. All the bits should be copied as such. So if you see, we are applying or operator or operator. And now see what can be placed here. If you see, if we are placing here 0, are we getting the output? Or of 0, 0, 0. Or of 1, 0, 1. Or of 1, 0, 1. And or of 1, 0, 1. And 0 and 1 will give me 1. This we have seen here. The same way if we put 0 here and 0 here. So all the bits will be copied as you can see. That means OR operator should be applied. Second, we want that at the kth bit 1 should be placed in the pattern B. Here also at the kth bit we are placing 1 and all the remaining bits in the pattern B should be 0. So question is how to generalize. So to reach output you know that we are applying OR operation on A and B. Now, how to generate this B? So, you say B equal to something should be there. Now, if you see here, we have only 1 and all the bits are 0. So, and here also 1 is there, all the remaining bits are 0. So, what we can do is, I am directly telling you, we take 1 if we convert it into binary, it will be 0, 0, 0, 1. Now, see, if k equal to 3, that means we want this 1 should be placed here. So that we get this pattern, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. So how many times should I shift this 1 so that it reaches here? See, 1 and 2. That means 2 times I should push this 1 to the left side. That means I should be getting this after shifting two times left. The same way, if k equal to 2, that means we want 1 should be put here. Then how many times should I push this 1 to the left side? You will say 1 time. Just push it here. That means if k is 3 or k is equal to 2, we are shifting k minus 1 time the bit pattern of the 1. That means to generate b, we want 1 to be left shifted k minus 1 times. So this way we will be getting B and then we will be applying bitwise OR on A and B to get our desired output to set that particular kth bit. So let's see, is it working in our IDE? So this is our code. We have input the number A, we have input the kth bit position, then we have prepared the pattern B and then we have printed the output as A or B. This will set our kth bit in the given input. So let's see, is it working? So as we discussed, our input A was 26, K was say 3. We were getting the output as K equal to 30 as we discussed. Let's see again for another input. Or we can say same input, 26, but K is 2. See, we are getting the 26 as we discussed in our discussion. So I hope you have got the idea that how we should approach these bits type of questions. If you have any queries, you can put down into comments. Thank you for watching. Till then, goodbye.